Martin. Arnold. What? A bad woman. Oh. Arnold. Don't, don't touch it. Don't. Relax. It's just a cloth. Nothing more, man. Arnold. All right, yeah. See, see, see. That's what they wanted you to do. Do what? Throw it at you. They wanted you to do it. Who are they? You can't see them, but they are everywhere, Arnold. Right, but you can see them. How you many see, are they? I have this spiritual understanding. Hi, babe. Hey, love. <laughs> oh, so I hope you're free this weekend. What do you have in mind? Um, I was thinking we could go visit my parents. Um, well, but why? Well, I've told them so much about you, and now they want to meet the man who's put a permanent smile on my face. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I, I forgot something. I, I gotta go. Arnold, huh? oh, what's wrong? Edna! She wants me to meet her parents next weekend. Oh, that's so nice of her. Nice! Dude, that's like the first step to marriage, Bill. Ah, and what's so wrong with that? You should be happy that she wants to settle down with you. I'm too young, Bundy. I don't want to settle down. Arnold, Edna is a good girl. You should be proud that she lets you breathe her hair. Her air, Bundy, not her hair. Corrections, corrections. <laughs> Hey, gorgeous. Okay, okay, okay. What do you want? Well, you always gotta assume I want something from you. Because I know your lingo, that's why. When you call me beautiful, it means you want me to take you somewhere. When you call me smart, you have pissed Bundy off and you want me to uh, do your assignment. When you call me gorgeous, well, uh, that's a relationship issue. So, again, I ask, what do you want? Let me pray. I come before you this time to pray for my tea. Whoa! Ah. <laughs> what the hell are you doing behind the door? You know you've made my umbilical cord to vibrate. <laughs> Arnold, yeah. I was praying for my tea. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. And by the way, you know, mm. that bad woman that we found in this room is the one which is bringing all this bad luck on us. You mean the black cloth? Yes. Dude, for all that it is, man, it could be the wind that blew it in here, right? It's nothing. It's not a bad curse or bad omen or anything of the sort, right? Just relax. I have refused to relax. And relax has refused me. Right. And I'm telling you the truth. It is that thing which is bringing bad luck on us. Hey, girl. Hi, V. Missed you. <laughs> Missed you too. How are you? I'm fine. By the way, are we still on for lunch tomorrow in town? Of course we are. Come on. And what's up with Arnold? He hasn't been picking my calls. Uh, well, uh, he must be busy with school. You know, mm -hmm. you know how it how it is. You know, busy, busy, busy all the yeah. time. But check this out. I'm making a music audio compilation for all the songs he likes. Wow. 
This is actually a thoughtful gift. Really? Yeah. So he like it? Pretty sure he'll like it. <laughs> oh! Hey Vera, so did you? What is up with him? Ah, it's a long story. Listen, did you get to talk to her? Sort of. Sort of? Look. Hey. Look, she's compiling an audio CD for you with your favorite songs. Now, if you ask me that, that is a very thoughtful gift. A CD? Now, you understand why I have to break up with her, right? Like, you, you get it, right? Why, Arnold? Why do you oh. dump women shortly after you start dating them? Look, she's just... Like, uh, Vera, would you just do it for me, please? You know what? I'm sorry. Hedna is the real deal. Now, if you don't like her, don't ask me to go dump her for you. You go do it yourself. Whatever it is. So, did that get better? He did, thank oh. you. He had a minor surgery, but now he's fine. Do you know why I hate hospitals? That's because people die there. I mean, infections, operations, lying next to someone who is sick. Mm -mm. There was once this guy who was admitted because he had a wound on his knee. Not only was it producing pus, but it had worms inside. Mm. I mean, can you imagine? <clears throat> That's not even the worst part. The guy adjacent to him touched the wound. Soon after, they found worms in his arm. Mm. It must have been the eggs of the worms producing. I mean, speaking of disgusting, there was this kid who picked something on the ground that looked like a banana. He was chewing on it, and while he was chewing, he kept on moving from one side of the mouth to the other, while the mom saw the struggle. When she went to check on the boy, he was chewing on a snail. <laughs> Babe, are you okay? It must be the cafeteria food. We're not going back there tomorrow. I mean, mm. look at how you are. I mean, uh, I... Listen, how about tomorrow we go watch a game, huh? How's that sound to you? Oh, I don't like games, but it's okay. I'll just come because I like staying next to you. I mean, take football, for example. 22 men running over the same ball for 90 minutes while people cheer on. I mean, it's so stupid. Or rugby, for example. I mean, men fighting for a ball. Mm. What, what's the purpose of that? I like socializing. I mean, talking to my friends uh, while they tell me their life stories, you know? Like I listen to you. By the way, you've never told me anything about your dad. Uh. Tell but me something about him. My dad is into real estate. Real estate? Really? It reminds me of those flats that are built so badly, they come tumbling down. I mean, there's these flats that are up to eight floors mm. and no elevator. I mean, what kind of landlord would build eight floors and no elevator? Yeah, right. I mean, really? I remember there was once this man and his wife who were fighting at his office mm. on the 22nd floor. Oh. While they were fighting, the wife pushed the man to his death. <gasps> His head burst and there was <laughs> brain everywhere. <laughs> babe, babe, are you okay? <laughs> and I need to go. But why? I thought you were spending the whole day together. Yeah, but I mean, there's, there's something I just remembered. Uh, I, I, I remember I didn't, I didn't finish my assignment. But, but babe, no, no, I have to do it, okay? Take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. What no. has happened? To the Edna, man. She's driving me crazy. What has she done? Look, we can't have a decent conversation anymore. First, she has to turn every bloody conversation into a lecture. The weather, politics, a bloody game. As in, we can't even watch a bloody football game with her. As in, there was a time she actually lectured me about mineral water. Mineral water, Bundi. Huh? Do you know what that feels like? Do you really understand what I'm talking about? Huh? Listen, to top it, to top it up, as in she is just disgusting, as in pure filth. 
Mm-hmm. Every conversation has to become something so disgusting. What the hell is that all about? <laughs> something funny. <laughs> mm. No, Arnold. You see, I don't get it. I still don't understand why you had to vomit at the cafeteria. You heard about that, huh? <laughs> okay. Arnold. Uh, Budi, I got you something. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. New pair of socks. No, you got t-shirt with socks. No, not a t-shirt. A snack. Oh. <laughs> Arnold! Huh? Arnold, Arnold! I got you, man. Arnold Dino. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The green buffalo. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Listen. Mm-hmm. So, Anna told me one of the best stories, most interesting stories today, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She told me about this kid who found a banana on the playground, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Naturally, like any other kid, he went and started chewing on it. Mm-hmm. Straightforward. Problem is, Started swishing on his mouth from side to side. Just swishing, swishing, swishing. So the mom walked up to him, you know, just concerned, trying to figure out what exactly is going on. She opened his mouth, she saw something slimy, swishy, just something just in there, just all snail. <laughs> Imagine a kid chew on a snail. <laughs> so. I know you and Arnold are really close. Has he been talking about me? Has he hinted where this relationship is going? Well, you see, Arnold is a young man. Okay, um, I'm not, I'm not uh, positively certain that he's thinking about the future. With another woman. Really? And he totally digs you. So he's going to marry me? So Arnold is going to marry me? Tell me when he plans to! Let me see, let me see. Let me see. Ah, there. If this is what is giving you problems, then know that it is Simba. If it's easy, if it's Simba, answer these three questions for me. But wait first. You see, for me, to do this assignment for you, you must do me a favor. What favor? Uh. Uh. What is that? Strong herbal medicine. I'm not sick. Look, even if I was sick, I wouldn't take medicine from a baby powder container looking milk collector thing. <laughs> What is that? This is not for you. It is for Arnold. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, the, the, the powder you were applying on yourself, huh? Point of correction. Strong herbal medicine. You see, we found a piece of cloth in our room. So? Very dangerous. Look, in 1975, Boniwama Sound put the same piece of cloth same color, same smell, same texture in Willie Miner's room. Do you know what happened? What happened? Willie Miner became so heavy in between his legs that he could not move. So, for me to do for you this assignment, you do me a favor. By convincing Arnold to apply it. I think you're backstabbing me here. You, you can't just expect... Fine, fine! I'll do it! Ha! Fine! Oh. <laughs> Vera! Huh? Okay, babe. I'm thinking we have a garden wedding. Victorian theme. I've already seen a dress I really, really love. And the cake testing guys are coming tomorrow. I was thinking we could go look at flowers today in the evening. And then there's also the no, issue hold about... Hold on, hold on. Uh, what are you talking about? Well... Vera told me you're planning to propose after college. But I'm thinking, why not get married now? You know, when the love is still so strong. Let's take a selfie. Huh? Wait, you told her I want to marry her? 
She just wanted to know, you know, where your relationship was going. But Vera, you'd have told her it was headed in the wrong direction. Left or something. Headed for a cliff, a crash, whatever, goddammit. <laughs> you need to fix this. What? Come on. Look. Ah. Oh. Anod. Anod, you are making me tired. Swinging the head this way and this way. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do, huh? About what? How do I end it with Edna? Ah. Hey, hey, come, come. I have a suggestion. Huh? Why can't you find out from women what annoys them? Then use it on Edna. Ha! <laughs> Bundy, huh? no, most of the times you don't think. But when you do, you are golden, man. Thank you, thank you. I owe you. Vera. Vera, please just help me with my assignment. Please, I, I promise I won't ask again. I'm also stuck, okay? In fact, Bundy's doing it for me. Bundy. Oh, yeah, right. You guys don't talk, huh? Yeah, because of relationship drama? Whew. Right. I did a favor. What? Yeah. I need a list of things men do that the girlfriends don't like. Really long list. Okay. A list. You you have one of those lists? Okay. Um for me, I guess I I, I hate it when, when guys, you know, talk too much, just chit chat all the time, constant. I, I hate that. Mm -hmm. And when they call me too much. But I like it when a man makes himself rare, you know? Like get a life. You don't have to be around me all the time. For me I think it's quite the opposite. I don't mind a talking man. In fact, I love it when a man calls because it means he's thinking about me. But I hate it when they say they're broke, don't call, or bring their friends on a date. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. What about my advice? I, I gave you advice. <sighs> anyway, I was telling you, she well, Listen, listen, honey. Listen to me, huh? I'm so sorry, but I don't have money to take you out tonight. I can give you some of mine. What? Here, yeah. will this help? Uh. <laughs> Hi, honey. <clears throat> um, what are you doing here? Well, you haven't fixed my calls for two days straight. So, I rented Bundi a room in town. What? So I'll see you every evening after class. <laughs> hey, honey. I hope you don't mind I brought Linda out for our lunch date. That's good. Huh? She can give us wedding ideas. I was thinking light green and white for the color schemes. And who's going to pay for that? Mm. I've tried Linda's ideas, but none of them seem to work. Now she's planning our wedding, and she's asked us to come in separate helicopters. Ooh, my bad. Ooh, sorry. Uh, you can try my ideas, though. I mean, they could work. What I gotta lose, right? Hey, hey, come, come, come. By the way... What is it? Bundy said that there's a spell cast in your room. No, no, you're crazy, right? Yeah, maybe he's not. Oh, come on. You want to tell me you believe in this kind of crap? Yeah. Vera. Okay, fine. No, no, I don't believe in it. But just, look, you should apply it, you know? It'll appease him. He'll, and it's, that's good. That's a good thing. Come on. Work with me here! Who is it? It's Arnold. He's been calling me endlessly for the past two days. I thought that's a good thing. 
I mean, he's been calling me after every 30 minutes. It's the 40th time this day. I thought you loved him. I do. But he's been smothering me with attention. I mean, even in class. Yesterday, he brought me flowers. Three times. Hey, honey. Why haven't you been returning my calls? Ah, anyway, since you're here, everything's okay. It's good to see that everything and all has been returned back to the universe. Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, honey. Come. Let's go somewhere. Hmm? <laughs> I'm studying. We'll study together. Some other time, babe. Oh! Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. My finger! Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Hey, 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 what's wrong? I cut my finger, then you hit my head. You see, I told you this badman thing is getting worse. Are you okay? What, <clears throat> what transpired? You see, you, you need to tell Arnold to make sure that he get cleansed for this badman to, you know, not to attack him. Okay, okay, I told him. Oh honey, I miss you. I miss you so much. I mean, even when I'm seated right here next to you, I miss you so much. Oh, do you know what else I miss? A phone. Huh? As in, I took mine to be fixed. Wait, that was like two days ago. Huh? But they called me today, so I'm going for my phone after lunch. But they gave me a replacement. So, how about we take a selfie? Come on. Selfie. Smile, smile with your eyes. <laughs> Selfie. There we go. <laughs> As in, a phone is so important. We have the calculator, social media, a calendar. What? Especially for you ladies. You need a calendar. You know to know what time of the month, you know. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, you need to tell me your Bye, cycle. Arnold. Call me. I'm good. High five and selfie. Ana dimu taka lele voice. Ana dimu taka lele voice. Ana dimu taka lele voice. Mu taka lele voice ya anoti. Ana dimu taka lele voice. Mu taka lele voice ya anoti. Mu taka lele voice ya anoti. The hell you doing, man? Hallelujah. Hallelujah again. Amen. Just standing there all creepy like. Yeah, just standing, enjoying the atmospheric pressure. Get off of here, man. <coughs> Bundy. Uh. Bundy. Bundy, what the hell is 